Hello everyone, today we'll be continuing on Mr. Men. Well, we have quite a few, but to, but since we're going in older, why don't we start with Mr. Bump? And right here we have Mr. Bump. Alright, so let's begin, I guess. Alright, this is the sad story of Mr. Bump. The trouble was that Mr. Bump just could not help having little accidents. Yep, I could definitely see that when he's literally called Mr. Bump. If there was something for Mr. Bump to bump into, he'd bump into it all right. For instance, if you were to see Mr. Bump walking down a, a street in your town and there happened to be something to bump into down the street, then you, you know what would happen don't you well he's called mr bump so bump oh poor mr S bump anyways let's see who what's next on our little adventure all right mr bump was just was just the same at home he lived in an extremely nice home but even there he couldn't help Having those little accidents. Well, I'm surprised his house isn't absolutely destroyed. Does he hire someone? I don't know. Okay. For instance, one morning when Mr. Bump went outside at his house, he noticed that, that the chimney pot had come loose in a storm that night before. I must fix that before it falls off, thought Mr. Bump to himself, and then he hurried to his garden shed to fetch to fetch a ladder. It was very it was a very long ladder. Well what will he bump into next, I wonder? There's probably a million things to bump into by now. Alright. Mr Bump walked up the garden path with the ladder with the ladder on his shoulder. He turned the corner of the garden path. Crash went the living room window. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump. And he returned to see what had happened. Crash went the kitchen window behind him. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump again. And he rushed the ladder against the wall of the house so so that he could climb up on onto the roof to mend the chimney pot crash went the bedroom window oh how many windows are you going to break with that darn ladder other way so you can see you can see how mr bump had his little accidents mr bump had many jobs but somehow there Never seemed to last very long. Well, um, I could probably see with Mr. Bump. So, either way. As soon as anything got lost or broken or splintered or chipped or snapped or cracked or torn or burst or wrenched or crunched or spilt or slit or... Wait, oh, that's it. Mr. Bump got the blame. Ah, oh, poor Mr. Bump. What if he didn't do it? For instance, when Mr. Bump worked on a farm, he tripped over the farm dog and spilt the milk which he was carrying to the f for the farmer's wife, and which the f farm cat which the farm cat lapped up. Wait, what do you mean, farm cat? I mean. Farm, farm cat. Why would you have a farm cat? What? I'm pretty sure that's a farm dog. I'm not sure. Either way, I might just be getting things wrong. So either way. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a postman, oh no, that can't be good. He got his hand stuck in a pillar box, and in a pillar box, and they had to fetch a fire. Bridget, I don't know those words, to come and set him free. Oh, come on, his hand could f probably fit through them. It, I mean, look at his hands there, that's way smaller. 
Another way. Anyways, for instance, when Mr. Bump was a bus conductor, he fell off the bus and couldn't catch catch you up again. And all the passengers travelled without having to pay. Hey, come back here! Woohoo! Well, I mean, he'd probably be fine, but the people who work, the people who went there, wouldn't really care, would they? No, nope, they wouldn't. So either way. Let's continue. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a carpenter, he found that when he was hammering nails, he hammered his thumb. Oh no, that would hurt. Most of the time, and the nail, most of the time, and the nail hardly at all. Aww, oh, Mr. Bump. Oh well, now you can just wrap yourself in everything, I guess. You could pretend to be a mummy and scare everyone. That'd be good. Well, probably not, actually, now that I think about it. So that's all I'm saying. In order to recover from this series of rather unfortunate happenings, Mr. Bump decided to take a holiday. There he could think about what sort of job he could do, where he wouldn't be such a nuisance to everybody. So off he set to the station to catch a train to the seaside. Well, I hate to break it to you, Mr. Bump, that's probably not going to work, as I was saying. While Mr. Bump was on holiday, several things happened. For instance, he fell off a boat into the sea and the lifeboat had to come and rescue him. Woohoo! I must admit, though, it looks quite nice. By the way. For instance, one day he was quietly walking along the bench, minding his own business. He got his foot stuck in a bucket, and he couldn't get it off. He had to walk around with it on his foot for hours. Well, you know, you could just break the bucket. I don't know, or maybe he doesn't want to. For instance, another time he was walking along the beach when he walked straight into a large hole that somebody had dug. Oh boy, stupid children. And he had to stay there all night because he can't climb out on his own. Out on his own. However, despite all these accidents, Mr. Bump enjoyed the holiday. And while he was there, he had a splendid idea about what sort of job he should do. It was quite the best idea for Mr. Bump. He, he, wait. It was quite the best idea. Wait. It was quite the best idea Mr. Bump had ever had an absolutely splendid idea. Alright, only a few more pages to go, guys. Whew. And now Mr. Bump works happily for Mr. M Mr. Barley, the farm. Mr. Barley? I don't know, the farmer. Mr. Barley has a rather large apple orchard on his farm, and that's where Mr. Bump works. Please say it's actually good. Does he have to bump the apples off, maybe? I'm not sure. So, either way. Mr. Bump's job is picking apples, but he doesn't use a ladder to climb the tree to pick the apples like other apple pickers. Oh no, Mr. Bump has a much better way of picking apples than that. He just walks around, and before long, Mr. Bump, being Mr. Bump, walks into a tree. Bump. Oh boy. <laughs> He might get a concussion, that's my worry. And down falls the apple. Mr. Bump catches it. This makes the job of apple picking much easier. And Mr. Bump is very pleased about his new job. And Mr. Barley is very pleased about his new apple picker. So you see, the sad story of Mr. Bump isn't such a sad story after all. And if you ever bump to yourself you know what to do don't you um have a apple job go and go and eat an apple picked by mr bump and then you won't feel your bump at all you'll remember that the next time you have a bump won't you good I mean, it definitely hurt. Anyways, that should be it for today. Bye.